Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. You know, you guys haven't seen all the animals that we work with. There's a whole bunch of stuff that hasn't made it into the show. So we're going to show you just a handful of those animals. We're also going to introduce a new segment called Product Review. You're watching Snake Bites. Okay, one of the snakes that we haven't had a chance to get into the show too often are these mandarin rat snakes. They're actually an Asian rat snake and really have some of the coolest colors that a naturally occurring animal has that's not venomous. Chewy and Trav here. Another unseen animal is in my room, and I know you've never seen this snake, is a red alive. Also known as a cave dwelling rat snake. Take a look at him. Beautiful colors. Look at Trav and the snake together. Beautiful pair. She loves them, I love them. Here's a really cool snake that we don't showcase too often at BHP. This is a San Gabriel Rosy Boa. Uh, they, have, they come in multiple colors. Uh, they only have about five babies per year and they uh, give live birth, so it's pretty cool. Awesome snake to have, something a little bit different. All right, one of the animals you don't see very often around here, but it's kind of neat, are what's called the Calabar Burrowing Python. All right, what we have here is uh, the Kuzner Island rat snake. It comes from Japan, it's another relatively unusual snake that we have here at BHB. Another animal unseen at snake bites is my pet Crookneck. I rescued him since he was a small rat. I've had him for about a year now. He's got a little neck problem, and he's, but he's real cute, you know. He's one of my favorite animals, and he'll soon be one of yours. Crookneck. Hey, welcome to Ask the Breeder. This week's question is all about albino snakes and do they live as long as a normal snake? I tell you what, right now most of the albino snakes on the market live just as long as a normal snake and are just as hardy. But there is a saying that says all recessives concentrate and with some of these new mutations coming out, there's a chance there could be an underlying gene that can cause canes or longevity issues. But for right now, pretty much all the snakes on the market do just as well as normal snakes. Hey, if you guys have any questions for Ask the Breeder, make sure to send them to brian at snakebites.tv and I'll answer them in a future episode. And another one is uh, the snow gopher. I just like it. I think it's really weird because it's got these really huge giant eyes. As he tries to take it out. Alright, another cool looking animal around here that you don't see too often is what's called the king rat snake. Kind of evil looking, but they're still cool. Okay, here we have a snake that's called a carpondro. It's actually a hybrid snake between a carpet python and a green tree python. We don't do a lot of hybrid snakes here, but this one is really cool, and it's one of Chewy's pets. He loves this animal, and it's a really beautiful snake. Another an unseen animal at Snake Fights TV is my Salcata tortoise little hen. Here he is down here. He eats about a head of lettuce a day. I soak him every morning. He just kind of hangs out in his little cage, chills out. Little hen. He's named after Brian, Henry Barczyk, little hen. Here's another really cool snake at BHB we don't talk too much about. This is an Angolan python. Uh, they get a little bit bigger than normal pythons. Uh, they have a totally different feel to them. Awesome color pattern. And uh, they're still from West Africa, just like normal ball pythons, but they're just, I think they're way cooler. Just my preference, but it's an awesome snake. You definitely won't see too many of these snakes around. I tell you what, there's only a few of them in existence. They just were produced for the first time a couple years ago, and we just got our first animals this year, so we hope that we'll produce some babies next year. Really a cool snake, albino cape gophers. And now a word from our sponsor. So Hey, welcome to a new segment here. It's called Product Review, and we're gonna use a Snake Bites rating system of a one to 10, 10 being the best for that product. We're gonna look at a bunch of different products that you guys might use in your reptile collections. 
So the first product that we're gonna go ahead and review is actually a thermostat from Spider Electronics called a Herpstat. We use a handful of different kinds here at BHB and they are all really good. The functionality is fantastic, easy to use, lots of different things you can do with them and very, very accurate. So if you guys are looking for a thermostat, I think a Herpstat definitely deserves a 10. Okay, so there you have it. Some of the animals that haven't made the cut in previous episodes of Snake Bites. I want to know what you guys think, so make sure you comment down below and tell us which animals you thought were the coolest ones. You guys have heard it before. Snake Bites is all about the online community, and we're going to start to give a weekly shout out to some of the forums that we hang out with. This week it's about ballpythons.net. Check it out. You guys will like it. Until next time, this was Snake Bites. <laughs>